hey okay so for today's video i am going to be putting on a face mask as you can see my skin ever since summer has been going through it i don't know what phase it's going through right now but it's really bad um okay i keep breaking out and it's in the same area like i do everything i drink water do this this this, this that doing face mask all the time and it does not go away i constantly change my pillows you guys are gonna see how bad my skin is after i take this off like you're gonna see like right now i look crusty dusty and white but it's the face mask but as soon as i take it off you're gonna see my real skin okay guys so um to begin with i'm gonna be using this mac prep and prime and I probably got this from a sample bag because I don't ever remember buying this. So I'm just going to apply this to the apples of my cheek. And you want to be really gentle with anything that you apply on your face. Because if you're really harsh with these things, then you are more likely to wrinkle faster than a person who gently pats their face or who doesn't apply makeup. Next, I'm gonna go in with my favorite foundation of all time. This is the, the Maybelline Fit Me. It's supposed to make it look matte and poreless because a sister don't want to be looking disgusting. Hello, that's mine. And you don't want your pores showing out a lot because that's really unattractive. So yeah. I'm gonna be applying this and I get too close to the camera sometimes, I'm sorry. And this is in the shade Warm Honey. You wanna make sure that you're covering every single part of your face Especially those pimples. It's always important that you go back into your hairline because you don't want like random spots of your skin and the foundation because no matter how good you match your foundation to your skin tone there's always going to be uh, just a bit of a difference and that's okay because that's important to um keeping your skin full cover and completely matte but you don't want to go like two shades darker than your skin color um you just want something that's going to match and that's going to really cover so if you have to go a shade up or down like that, if that's necessary, then go ahead. But what's usually recommended is to keep it natural looking. And I know that there's some girls that, that tan, so they have um, different foundations for every occasion. And I always get foundation onto my hair, which really sucks. So there's a mirror right next to me so if you're like why is she looking to the side it's probably why so i'm gonna go up onto my hairline and sometimes i will rub in the foundation and i know that's like super against beauty um rules but i do it and my hair is looking extremely puffy so yeah, I, I take a lot of time to blend in that um, foundation because I want my skin to look as flawless as possible, especially because it's going through something right now. So yeah. And next I'm going to go in with the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer. And this is a perfect dupe for the Shape Tape from Tarte. And this is in the shade um, Honey. You 
you want to create a triangle under your eyes, this will cover your under bags and any unwanted thing you might have. This will just create like a natural highlight to your skin for when you um, contour your skin. So next we're gonna blend that in again. Blend, blend, blend. So yeah, um, blend put that in. Oh, you see guys, foundation in my hair. And my hair is actually looking really frizzy right now. Like the back, I don't know if you can see that. But it's really frizzy. Um, So I think we got the concealer in and it's super unnoticeable and that's exactly what I want because sometimes, I don't know if this happens to you as well, but I go out and I see people and like their makeup looks great but when you get up close, you just see like two white triangles under their eyes and that's super um, unattractive. Personally, I don't find that cute but it's a look oh so i'm gonna be using the nars um cream contour to contour my face so we're just gonna be creating the three so i'm just gonna quickly tap on it and go into my forehead Next, you're going to want to blend that out with a brush. So I'm going to be using the Real Techniques brush. It's this brush. You want to make the little fish face. So next, I am going to be setting in my concealer and you're probably like, why didn't you set it before? I do things in different orders and my order might not be the same as a lot of people out there. I have, I'm sorry, I'm playing with my hair a lot. I just have, I think I have a hair in my face. I had a hair in my face, I guess. So I am going to be using the Airspun face powder and this stuff when it came out everybody was talking about it and till this day a lot of people use it it's amazing i recommend you to buy it honestly like it's way better than laura mercier and any um name brands out there i just like you're gonna see a bunch of powder going everywhere Guys, look at that. Oh my god. What? That's crazy. I'm just gonna let that sit in and we are gonna do our eyebrows. So, yeah. I'm gonna get up close so you guys see my brows. I might do the other one off camera just because. I'm in a really uncomfortable position right now. And so we're gonna just. Br you can brush that or just lightly tap on it with your fingers. Okay, I'm gonna get a brush, you guys. So I'm gonna be using a spoolie. Just brush my brow. I need to go do my brows, like um, get them done, get them waxed, but I have not gone.
Okay, so next eyebrow, we're going to be doing the same. We're just going to brush up. I had to do my brows off camera because I literally could not. Um, so we're just gonna put some ooh, um, concealer under my eyebrows to highlight the brow bone and make it appear as if I actually did my brows. So we're just gonna apply not too close. Because then with the brush, you're going to be able to manipulate where the concealer, in what direction it can go. So, I'm going to attempt to do it on camera. But it's going to be really hard, so... So um, now I'm gonna brush off. Oh, I did my brows. I completed them. They look a bit better. Um, so now I'm gonna brush off this powder. And I'm gonna do the same on the other side. Now I'm gonna use this um, conceal <laughs> concealer, this bronzer, this powder bronzer, bronzer pot powder, and I'm gonna go in with what I did earlier, and I'm just gonna go in again with my Real Techniques brush, this fluffy brush, and we're just gonna go again to what we did earlier. Go here and on top you got my hair so annoying so yeah next we are going to be using my MAC Prep Plus Prime Fix Plus and we're just going to be using this brush which I do not recommend this brush for highlight but I'm going to go like this I'm going to like press on it and I'm going to make it a highlight brush because my sister stole my brush so I'm convinced that she took it because the last time I ever saw that brush was the last day she was here and since I have not seen that brush so I'm just gonna squish it and I'm gonna be using the Anastasia glow kit and I'm just gonna go in to every single shade oh, hold up so I had to switch brushes because this is not going great. Next, I am going to be using the Lily Lashes in Style Miami. So I'm going to take these off and I'm going to put those on. So. Okay guys, this is the final look. If you guys like it, you can um, try this. It was super easy, super simple. Um, I could not multitask and talk and do my makeup at the same time, so I'm sorry for that. I don't know how YouTubers do this. So yeah, props to all those people that do that. Um, yeah, This was really simple and it's an everyday look. You can try this anytime. I'm gonna end this right here. Thank you guys for watching. Go like and subscribe. Thank you.